All right, this is another uh, lesson video someone requested. Um, it's for an Angels and Airwaves live song when they're uh, when Tom's just doing "I Miss You," uh, specifically at the AT&T event. Um, it's not really that difficult of a song. You just you gotta have a uh, either an echo or a delay. I don't I don't know any difference between the two. Um, that has. Um, some some delay pedals have uh, set speeds that you can um, that you can use and like mine mine I have this uh, H2O liquid chorus and echo but it has a knob on it to change the time on it and it's pretty much just free I mean you, I could uh, tweak it to almost whatever I want um, and the speed that I'm running at right now is uh, this. <laughs> So if you have a pedal that can't get um, at that set speed, then it's going to be really hard for you to uh, get the sound you want if you're trying to play this song. Um, but this pedal is really good. It's actually uh, two pedals in one. It's a chorus and echo, so uh, I could get two different effects at the same time. You can hear the chorus in it, too. <laughs> I would recommend getting it. It's probably my favorite pedal. Um, it was only, I think, $150 when I bought it, and that was a couple years ago. I might even have gone down. But anyway, um, there's two main parts that Tom plays. There's like the first half of the video and the second half. Uh, the first being like the verses, and then the second half being uh, the chorus, which is when I think Matt comes in. He's playing keyboard at the same time. But... Um, you also notice I have a capo on the second fret that definitely uh, you need to have to make things a lot easier. Another thing you're going to notice is that Tom is a big guy. He's got huge hands. He's like 6'4", so he can stretch pretty far, and um, it might be pretty difficult for you to do it uh, just the way he does, but um, here are a couple of the parts that he plays. <laughs> It's actually a B, but you're going in between um, uh, a couple different chords. And the whole time you're keeping your pinky, or yeah, I would use pinky on the uh, 11th fret. So uh, you're just moving your index finger basically, so it goes like this. sound like this um, in the song like he mixes it up a little bit so uh, just try and uh, just figure it out how or where he changes from it, it's not too difficult you just got to uh, use your ear a little bit so it should sound like this <laughs> two minutes into the video uh, that's when Matt starts playing and he does something like this doing the chorus. 
forth, so it's like, don't waste your time. You get the idea, it's, it's like this. addressed everything I could in the video um, I'm not gonna play the whole thing out because I don't even think I have a big enough memory card to fit the whole thing on uh, but um, I, I'm pretty sure I addressed everything um, the speed of the delay again was this <laughs> Parts again. I'll just run over, run over them real quick. Mm -hmm. 